Well, hi there, friends, crafters, makers, sewists, and sewers. How are you all doing out there, humans and peoples and folks and friends? I hope that you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. I am, and you want to know why? Because I saved myself some money. And you all know I am a thrifty girl. Do you want to know how I did it? Well, it has to do with my rotary cutter blades. And we all know those are expensive. Well, guess what? Somebody shared some tips with me and I am gonna share those tips with you because we're friends. I'm Nye with Ellie and Mac, of course. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I was in the Sewing for Projectors group and one of the members asked a question about her rotary cutter blades. Like, how can I get more use out of them? And I thought to myself, gosh, that's a really good question. And I had tried some ways of sharpening them in the past that really didn't go over well. Or maybe I just used the items wrong. Maybe not, I don't know. So in any case, she got a lot of suggestions. I went ahead and I looked it up and I found that Aluminum foil is a great idea. <laughs> Facebook smacked y'all. I sure did. One of the friendly members on Projector for Sewing was like, Skirt, Nancy! Don't use aluminum on your rotary cutter blades. That is the best way to ruin them. My bad. She was very kind and she enlightened me to the fact that this thing exists. Have you ever seen this? Now I'm gonna be honest with you, it's called a whetstone and I'd never heard of it in my entire life and it literally lived in my knife drawer because I'm a horrible cook and my husband does the cooking and he sharpens the knives with it, apparently. So I did not know it existed until she had told me about using a whetstone to sharpen your rotary blades. Now this is like $9 on Amazon. And I'll go ahead and make sure that I leave the link down below. This is another tool that I found for sharpening your rotary cutter blades. This is the OmniGrid Rotary Cutter Dual Sharpener. It also has a rough side and a fine side or coarse and fine. And you're supposed to sharpen both sides of the blade with this. Um, however, it can be really tedious and I'm gonna be real with you. I have the attention span of a gnat. Sitting here doing this number. And then flipping it over. <sighs> See, I'm already tired. It was boring. It's a new stuff. True sharp, linear sharpener notion. That was a mouthful. It has these little rubber grips on the bottom and it helps it to like not move. It does move a little bit, but not a lot. And you also do not have to take your rotary blade out of your cutter. You just run it through and you'll see, I'll have a video of myself sharpening the thousands of blades. Just kidding, I only sharpened 15 and I don't even know if any of them are actually sharp. So we're about to find out. Good girl. I'm sorry, that's one of my favorite songs. Do your thing on the rotary work. Super sharpener. Okay, I'm done. with this whetstone, which was about $10 on Amazon. I probably need to do a little bit more practicing with it. Too much practice, but it's there if I need it. You know what I mean? So if you just happen to have one hanging around, knock yourself out and give it a try. Blade flat, tilt it a tad, and run it over. That's the fine side. And that's pretty much what you would do, four or five times on each side. So I'm not gonna put this in a naughty spot. It's not naughty. I just don't know how to use it 
as well as I would like. So a little bit more practice with the whetstone. The OmniGrid tool, really quickly, it comes in three pieces. These two twist apart. You take a blade, you put it in, you screw it together. So you put a little bit of water here on the sharpening surface and then you put it in, put the blade in like this, and you twist it 10 times. Or more if you like, if you really just need a nap, okay? And then you flip it over and you do the other side. This blade gets very, very sharp. Lop off the side of your finger sharp. The OmniGrid is about $17 on Amazon. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars because it's pretty affordable for something that's gonna save you a ton of money. <laughs> Those blades are really old and it saved them. I'm very mindful of myself and here. I know that sometimes I can and be clumsy. Just... So taking my blades mm -hmm. out Don't do that. to sharpen them is larger of a risk than there. I would that... like. True Cut Rotary Blade Sharpener is gonna get a five out of five. After this video, you might want to get yourself a rotary blade sharpener. I know I'm glad that I have one that I'm not going to spend a boatload of money on new blades anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed my content. If you do happen to enjoy my content, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, share these videos with your friends because it really does help us bring you more content like this. You don't want to miss all the fun. I don't want to miss you either. I hope that you have a great week. Thank you for watching my video. Yes. Bye.